the weirdest video on Demolition Ranch you've ever seen. I got my good buddy here, Lunkers TV. What's up, dude? So I've always had this idea that I want to see how hard it is to shoot a running car, like a driving car, how hard it is to take it out. Like you see it in the movies all the time. <laughs> so I've always seen in the movies when there's a car driving and they're shooting the engine or whatever or shooting the gas tank trying to stop this car. It seems really easy, but I want to know like in real life, how hard is it? Unfortunately, we're demonetized and so what we're doing instead is not even riding lawn mowers. We're doing self-propelled push mowers. And, but I figured it actually would be pretty easy to take these things out. So this is a challenge between me and this dude and we're going to up armor our push mowers. So before me, we have some paper. How about the Phyllis Angela dispute? You already did me. That's what she said. 20 pound per 75 GSM per tent. It's pretty good paper. This is like the floor from Bowling Alley. They were cutting it up and sent us some and it's actually super bulletproof. We have done that in another video, stops most pistol rounds. We have three cake pans, a roll of duct tape, and uh, some nut shells body armor, level three. We put a stake in the ground and there's gonna be a rope and they're just gonna be going around the stake. And you can only shoot them when they're on the far side so they're not like right next to us. And I'm gonna be shooting at his, he's gonna be shooting at mine. So it's actually gonna be a challenge for armoring, how good can you armor it, and how good you can shoot. And can you snake the bullets through the armor? Because that's, that's probably the best place. That's what she said. That's I only think I think it was Denver Mythal this entire time. And the winner of this competition gets to post whatever they want on the loser's Instagram. Get away, don't. <laughs> that was tough. I think. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, see the angle now? Your bullet's just gonna skim over the top. Actually, it's probably just gonna get stuck on a rock now. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're going back up. We're going back up. I should be able to add one thing that you must stick near the gas tank. <laughs> what is it? I can, choose, right? I, can, no, I can choose one thing inside of here that you have to add. Okay, but I get to add one thing to yours. Okay. You must take this next to the gas tank. All right. Seth, do you think this will actually go off though? No. Oh, I mean, it. only if it, if it catches on fire for sure, but then it's already going to be on fire. What were you going to put? You have to drag this behind it. <laughs> just that way. Oh dang it! It's just gonna be. It's like. Old. Just slow it down just enough that I get that perfect shot. I'm trying to figure out if I can do anything to up the horsepower, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, airplane fuel. We don't have time. The thing with armor is you got to get them overlapping because if there's a hole like that, he's gonna aim for that hole. Rob always goes for the hole. I know, Rob. Ah, <laughs> that's what she said. But you also have to think about overheating. If we block all the cooling area and we block the intake, we block the exhaust, we're screwed also. Like if it stops, you're done. I'll take those. You take those for the paper? One pack of paper? Yeah. For these three. No, I need that paper. <laughs> Are you sure? This is a pretty good deal. <laughs> I'll give you a half roll of duct tape for those. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. He's an idiot. I just noticed I don't have an oil Cap. I started taking. Where is it? <laughs> Why don't I have an old thing? It's getting it's taped. It's, it's connected. The thing is, Rob may have been in the army, but I've been testing body armor, especially homemade body armor, for years. I know exactly how to stop these bullets. What'd you do? Major issue, you just realized I covered up the exhaust. exhaust. <laughs> oh shit. I'm trying to figure out how to tape around the exhaust. <laughs> I'm a, regretting giving away my duct tape. That is the dumbest looking thing ever. Look how solid mine looks. Oh shoot, guys. Look at my jacket. This bike, I just poked a hole in that summer gun. <laughs> Who's dumb now? Dang. God, mine looks solid. Yeah, it's not gonna stop bullets though. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Every little bit helps. You're going down. All right, if it falls off, then it falls off. Okay, so what he doesn't know is his sucks terribly. Uh, I can hit anyone on that thing and it's gonna go off. What is he, what is, what is he? He's got a Roman candle flopping there. Son of a gun's gonna overheat. He's got three. Tin pans, tin, tin pan, tin cans. 
Um, cake pans. If I win, he's gonna have to. Sh he's gonna. Have to <laughs> he's gonna have to post in his shirt wearing. I love Beto. So on actual armor, they have like a ceramic plate and then like Kevlar behind that. So the ceramic plate breaks it, the Kevlar catches the bullet. That's what my theory is. And that's why I wanted to get the extra duct tape. I wanted to trade the extra duct tape for these cake pans so I can have an extra hard layer. So I have hard layer, paper, hard layer, paper, all the way around on the top. I'm hoping he won't have that great of a shot because it's going to be kind of be an angle. He won't be able to get a direct shot. So I'm hoping my three cake pans will be enough to kind of deflect or at least slow down that so he can't get in there. I'm really worried though. I, this didn't go as good as I was thinking. Over here on Rob's, oh, well there's a, there's a shot right in there at the engine. This is wide open right here. This is pretty well protected. There's a flywheel in here, and I think if I break the flywheel, then maybe it'll stop running. It'll at least stop cooling. Also, if you break off the blade, it'll mess up too, so. Neither one of us protected the blades. <laughs> if I win, I'm gonna make Rob post something very revealing. Maybe physically, maybe emotionally. So I've Rob painted Beetle on the side of mine. So I painted Hill on the side of his. Mine's the gold one, because it's gonna win. We are moving out to the pasture now uh, to shoot these mowers. But first, a word from our sponsor. This episode is brought to you by uh, by Olight. This is the Olight Orange Seeker 2 Pro. 3200 lumens, 250 meter beam throw, and what I like most about it is the magnetic charging port makes it super easy to charge. You can get this light or most of the others on their site for up to 40% off during the Black Friday sale, November 28th through December 2nd. And all new customers will get a free i3e, which is their most popular keychain light for registering or logging in. Click the link in the description below for more information. So we have a stake in the ground with a rope tied to it. Tie it to the side of the mower. The mowers just go around and round. The deal is we're gonna be shooting from over there, so you can't shoot anything on this side of the stakes, only on that side. So they'll be far away, and only this side, this side, and this side will be visible, sort of the top, in theory. I yeah. wanna see how it works. Okay. That's You've terrible. obviously never made homemade armor before. It's not about <laughs> what it looks like, okay? It's about how it performs. The hammer just fell off, and I made a deal that if it falls off, it falls off, and we don't put it back on. So, the hammer just fell off of Rob's mower, and his is going fast again. So, I don't actually think that Roman candle is gonna hurt me, though. First, we're shooting the 22 mag. This is the Thunderstruck Volley Fire. It shoots two 22 mag at one time. You're up first. Shoot that blue one, Rob. <laughs> You hit it? Still running. My turn. Target remains. Next up, we're doing nine millimeter. This is the Springfield Hellcat. I carry the SIG 365, and this one holds one more round. It holds 11 plus one with the flat base plate. Has a little micro red dot on top, and night side up front. No, we're good. Oh, we're good. They're too short now. They don't hit anymore. <laughs> okay, and we move on. Next, we're going to a rifle round, but out of a pistol. We have two of them. These are the Century Arms Micro Dracos. They are little baby AK 47s. They shoot a regular 762 by 39 round, but out of a tiny package. So to make this <laughs> to make this a little more difficult, 
You have to shoot both at the same time. That's a foul. That's a foul. That was on this side of the line. That's a foul. Let's go assess right now. Let's see where we're at. Rob took one real cheap shot up here when it was like four feet on the wrong side of the line. No, there's no such thing. But you didn't hit it, so. <laughs> I didn't. Do you see any hits? I have one right here. Did it hit there? Oh yeah, yeah. did it go through? See, no, look, it's right here. See, I hit one here and one here. And one over the top right there, see, look. Skimmed it. And then there's one that went in. That's definitely a hit. Didn't, didn't, did not, not go, go through. through. Get a little warm in here. Warm in there. Here's a hit. There's one. Right here. I wonder what that was with. When did I shoot on the side? Did not. Oh, there's another one right there. It didn't go through. The next one is a, a new gun. It's a Galil. I've never had a Galil before. This one's chambered in 5.56. This is an actual Israeli Galil. It was full auto. It was an Israeli military gun. And they converted a bunch of them to semi-auto for import into the United States. So it's an old gun that has been repurposed as a civilian rifle in the US. Has a bipod, has a bayonet. And if, you know, in case stuff really goes down. <laughs> this one is the first one that we'll be able to aim well at this distance. So, and it should have good penetrating power. That's what you said. I don't get it. It is cool because it has a thumb safety, but it also is like an AK on the right. Isn't that cool? <laughs> ah, too close. Cheater. This guy's just a cheater. It's on fire! It's on fire! This is gonna be bad. The fireworks are going off! <laughs> the fireworks are going off! Dang it! Yes! One shot! <laughs> look at my aim, it's perfect. Drive between your little flat. It's on fire right now. Let's go look at it. You snaked it in the corner. I snaked it in the corner. Great shot. Still on fire. <laughs> I'm slightly worried about that. <laughs> Dang, man. I didn't think he was going to get it. That was the perfect shot. That was one spot that I had not armored well. Ugh. That's so easy to snake. Like, look at that. Look at that terrible. All right, I'm going right here. Building. No, that's the oil. Like, if you hit cylinder, instant death. You hit the oil. I mean, I guess if it dies, it dies. It just might, it might take five minutes for it to run out of oil and burn itself up. Not, a, not as enjoyable as one shot, one kill, right? I know, you're stopped instantly. Yeah. You got one shot, don't mess it up, don't mess it up. You messed it up! Dang it! Ah, Alright, let's see how many times it takes me back to take it down. Shoot the back, hit it. That's the shot I should have taken. Still going! Oh, man, yours sucks. That was easy. <laughs> Dang it! All right, let's check it out. I smell oil. Oh, yeah, come check this out. When I hit that one shot that started sputtering it, we just went into the oil. We probably hit the crank or something and just made it off balance, but it's definitely leaking oil. Man, you killed mine in one shot, and it caught on fire. I know. This is not that epic. <sighs> Good thing, though, uh, we got the extra two-year warranty, so we'll just take these babies back and be like, I don't know, they didn't run very well. The punishment for you losing... <laughs> this is great. This is great. This good. is great. <clears throat> you, you have to wear a shirt that says, I love Beto. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No I, caption I whatsoever. Rather... No caption on the photo. Literally, this you stand there like this. How, Not long, a how long does it have to stay? 24 up? hours. <laughs> 24 hours. I'm with Beto. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Ralph's pretty good at armoring up lawnmowers and he's a very good shot and good job. You did great. Did really good. Go check out Lunkers TV, link in the description. Not happy about it, but it is what it is. Some people get lucky and you got lucky today. It's multiple times I've gotten lucky against him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Uh, hell yes. I'll take that. Okay. I'll take that too. Contact! That's a great idea.